today I would like to emphasize some of the uh, experiences uh, we have firsthand on, on, on grassroots level with researchers, working with researchers, not comprehensively. Also, I have collected some of the uh, experiences from ongoing, first ongoing uh, Horizon projects uh, from our colleagues, the uh, grant advisors and uh, project managers who work with the researchers uh, during the project. So I'll first tell about what the open data pilot in Horizon is, how you can take part in that or how you can stay out of it, and what is a data management plan. And uh, I say here, some of the Horizon actions, as they are called now, or projects, more traditionally, uh, are participating in Open Data Pilot. I think the first <coughs> work program, 2014-15, uh, one-third of the uh, actions or projects were taking part in the pilot by default. Uh, now, I didn't check the exact amount um, these are the fields or the areas well, that are taking part in the pilot fu uh, future and emerging technologies, research infras, and then uh, some of the major parts of the program in, in terms of funding and number of projects, ICT, nanotechnology, and most of societal challenges, and, and some others. And c coming back to this, uh, how, how, to, how to get in the pilot or how to opt out. So if you have justified reasons, for example, you do not collect data or you are not able to open the data, then, then you can justify that, that you're, you're staying out. But on the other hand, um, any project within Horizon uh, is is entitled to taking part on voluntary basis in the pilot. So uh, whether or not in the pilot, it's more of a question of, of primarily a question of data management that you need to do in an organized way and, and, and plan in advance, or it should help the researcher in any case. So at least if you take part in the pilot, then uh, a management work package deliverable typically in the first six months of the project is a data management plan. And that is something then you can, then, then the researchers update uh, throughout the project, but that has to be uh, published uh, towards the beginning of the project. And, and just very rough outline on, on what the, what subjects uh, the data management plan must cover, simply tell about the data set, how you can find it, what, what it contains, what kind of uh, information, measurements, interviews, and uh, what standards and metadata uh, are, uh, the researchers have used, how the data is shared, and how it is archived and preserved and uh, also thinking about long-term storage and uh, backup of the data. Uh, at the end of uh, this uh, presentation, there is uh, some support material that we can go into if, if we have time, or you can look up, look, look up yourself. Actual screenshots from the participant portal on what to fill in, because I, I took them here in this presentation because I found it's actually the, the researcher when they are filling in their, their proposal in the portal and there's a question, okay, what should I, what does it mean what I, if I answer this or this, uh, if I decide to take part or decide not to take part and what do I have to do? This uh, figure is from the uh, Horizon uh, Open Data Pilot Guide and uh, just a schema, schema of, of what we 
what is the part that um, I'm going to talk now, or, or talking now about uh, uh, this opening of, of data. So in general, and, and, and parallel to uh, open access publications, so uh, from, from research, the results uh, must, by definition, well, there have been, uh, this has, a dissemination plan has been, has been a, a, a must in a horizon project for some time, but now the thing is that, or, or a framework projects, but now you also have, must have a data management plan, and then you make a decision of, of whether you protect or publish the data, and, and, and because there is the, <coughs> The researchers have to exploit, use the results, uh, so or, or make that possible. Whether you do it yourself <coughs> and want to patent, or you want to publish, and uh, then alongside with the publications, uh, the researchers are uh, encouraged and, and required to to open the data that we is needed. That is. The data that they've drawn, the conclusions that, that if anybody else wants to uh, validate the results, they have access to that data. Uh, this figure I have borrowed from one data management plan from one project, uh, one <coughs> horizon project that is uh, that the researchers in Alto are coordinating and uh, there uh, the core part of the project is a fairly large number of uh, company interviews. So by definition there must be some, some of the data is confidential but again then they are by default they're taking part in the open data pilot and it is in their interest to open some of the data because they want to spread the practice and, and in, enable other, other parties to, to carry out similar studies uh, in a similar manner though, for those who are not taking part in the project. So um, what they have done is define, because there's a lot of different kinds of data, so they have defined research data, project data, analyze research data and reports and communications. So when we talk about research or, or data, it, it's a wide variety of, of different kinds of data. And as Ella was say, also say, uh, referring to in her presentation, it's a choice of which data to open and which data to not open. So it's a spectrum of choices. It's not no, uh, yes or no question, simply, or black and white. So, here uh, the colors represent this uh, <coughs> red part is, if you, can, if you can read, the partner or subcontractor. The research data, the audio records of interviews, transcriptions, they are uh, confidential, even, even, even so that they are not open to the whole consortium. Then, then agreements and financial statements, project data is open within the consortium and the project officer in EU. But then analyzed research data, interview reports, they must be open within the consortium for other partners to analyze and also then that's the part this, these researchers will publish as a summary, uh, short summaries of the actual interview reports. Not detailed, but aggregate level, anonymized, generalized, and then of course the reports, actual deliverables and presentations and articles that are mostly public. So some of the experiences uh, from my colleague, I had a list of that were 
researchers are taking part in 45 Horizon projects, out of which 20 participate in the open data pilot. So I have drawn these examples from only a much smaller number of projects. But some of the ideas, uh, in addition to what I just described, these levels of confidentiality defined in one project, there are different levels of data also at micro level, that's personal, regional level, that must be anonymized, and then country level and, and EU level data. There's existing data, there's new data that the researchers are collecting and probably process in the pro during the project some of the existing data and collected new data. And <clears throat> okay, this uh, last point was about the summary interview reports. Perhaps more publishing more detailed data would give even more benefits. Um, then a different product, project, an EU program called Bonus, uh, which is not part of Horizon, but there is a program level uh, not project level practices, but but program level uh, at, at program level because it is uh, um, directed to certain certain area, the sea data, oceanographic data, marine geological data. So there are from the program site there are databases for researchers to input data and and and, uh, and save their metadata. The grant agreement is a 700-page uh, document. Well, it's, uh, let's say, that's uh, the full, because it has all the choices, of course, the actual agreement that is signed, it's not that long, but it has very, it's very, uh, has, I think, what, 60 different articles, and 29 is on openness, open access to publications and to research data. It's saying digital research data is information that uh, in digital form is collected uh, and analyzed. It includes statistics, results of experiments, measurements, observations from field work, survey results, interview recording, recordings and images. So very different kinds of data, but it says uh, in the pilot the researchers must give open free of charge access to the end user to specify digital research data. So not everything, but for example, using the classification I was just describing. So there are two types of data. The data that I referred to before, parallel to publications, that anybody who's interested in validating the results, they will need, uh, they, they will need to have access to that data. And, and then an and associated metadata, where to find that data and what it, what it contains, but then also other data collected during the project. And there's a three-step procedure for opening the research data, deposit it in a repository that we will hear more in more detail in come presentations, and, and then licensing as Ella was referring to also this, uh, for example, creating common licenses or software licenses, uh, various other, other licenses. And, and also was referred to, uh, Ella was referring to before that there's a, uh, the researchers can set an embargo period, not publishing the data immediately. And also provide information in a repository about how to use the data, uh, the tools and instruments for validating the results. Just shortly about uh, infrastructure projects. Provia, there's uh, access to research infra. Uh, and the, the point here in a project is that a, uh, external users must comply uh, with the open access rules as well. and Procedures have been set uh, through yearly calls how to how external users can take part. 
And then processing of personal data also means anything where a person can be identified uh, with, let's say, a reasonable effort. And for that data, uh, that person has, uh, right, has the right to access and correct the data and, and procedures for, co for complaints. And the beneficiaries uh, must process the data and use the data in, in compliance with the EU and national laws. I just quickly made a uh, <coughs> modified figure from uh, what I showed before from the different levels of uh, confidentiality in the data that uh, the different kinds of agreements concerning interview data, the more confidential the data is, the more uh, the more strict agreements of, of non-disclosure agreements with the enterprises that whose whose employees are being interviewed. For example, uh, the researchers typically need informed consent, which is which contains uh, more or less the same same issues, and then a public-private policy. As a conclusion. From the, from the first experiences in Horizon, I would say that uh, yeah, the PI, the principal investigator, has a central role. It, if, if the PI is interested and it, it's in his or her interest to open the data and, and this person is active, then uh, the PI also has the power to make the decisions. And, uh, we're looking or planning, planning to uh, collect, thinking about collecting more extensively our experiences after one year because that will help us in the future. Because now the situation has been that we just started, nobody knew what the open data pilot is about in practice. Now we know a bit more and after one year we will know much more. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Antti. Um, we could have some quick questions, if there are any in the audience, or then from the remote participants. Anne, in the fir first row. Sorry, no um, what about the researchers? How did they feel about this uh, pilot? Was it very, sort of, did it take a lot of time? Uh, was it sort of easy for them to think about uh, in terms of data management? Was it so, sort of, uh, yeah. or did they think that it's really uh, sort of, they were, it doesn't really bring them anything uh, useful? Well, I think at least some of the, uh, I've, I've been uh, involved in, in uh, a few uh, application, applications or proposals in the application stage and some of them that those who have taken part in the open data pilot or would take part in the pilot and actually have taken part and some of them have been they didn't know in advance what it was about then they were thinking about okay this would be our benefit we would like to spread the methodology we would like other people to repeat the experiment uh, outside our consortium so they didn't know in advance but they it's so, uh, they saw that there's a possibility for them, it's in their interests to open. Then there are some people who do not know and uh, they do not know any practice in their field. So they more or less, they might stay in the pilot, but uh, let's say we'll sort of sort it out once the project starts hopefully and uh, or then they just it simply opt out because they don't collect data, they do conceptual work. So there's a variety in, in the practices too. 